Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Recon Gaming here with Johnny, and today we are playing some more Dawn of Man as we get bullied by hyenas yet again. Badly. These hyenas are getting nasty out here. And someone needs a thing about it, so we're going to send people after them. Because there is a ton of them here. Really going to increase our workload there, but oh well. Can't get them to stop attacking me. It's funny thing is, I said it too. I was like, we haven't had hyenas for a while. And then, next thing you know, they show up. Got us our knowledge point, but have been brutally terrible with us. Ridiculous. Oh, man. Take a drink. Got really thirsty there. I don't usually drink while I'm recording, but drink uh, my sodas or water or anything like that. But man, I got thirsty. Usually do it in between them. Okay. That is our goat, okay. What I think I wanna do is push out this way, build the gate here, or build a gate here actually, hold on, we're gonna do that. Can, first off, can I even build a gate there? That's the real question. Defensive, gate. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this one, this one. I like how it rains even though it's paused. Doesn't even pause the rain. They're, all, they're only three wide apparently, guys. We're gonna do that and then, gonna keep that tree. We're gonna get rid of all of this over here. Cause we're gonna expand our boundaries into this area. So that way we can have more trees and uh, more trees. That way we can have more stuff basically. We can have more houses and whatnot. So we're going to take defenses. Click here. And basically go around like this. Hit the accept button. New human was born.
There we go, and that's going to take care of our new land. Building wooden platforms there and there, as well as wooden platform here and here. Build one on the back side as well. You're like, wow, I thought you are not going to build a bunch of new stuff. Yeah, you're right, but I need to get at least that down. It's just wood, so it ain't too bad of an uh, too bad of a problem just to do that. Two twenty-five for that. I don't have the resources for that, dude. I don't even want your sheep. I just want what gear I can get from you. Okay, what ifs? <sighs> Why haven't they built the sledge yet? Oh, we still need one more leather for that, which we have. Now we can build it. Which will help with a lot of our problem, a lot of our other problems actually. But not only will help with a lot of our problems, but it will also help with our general knowledge points a goat has went down which kind of sucks that was one of our two remaining goats um i am going to put a gate here as well Because the gate here is no longer needed. So that's going to be other buildings and stuff. Once we get there. We have built the other sledge. We got two more knowledge points to go. The idea again is we clear out. This section here. Clear all of this out. Maybe get in our farm. Probably right here. Around here somewhere. Right, like right here. Some houses in here, moving our farm in there. Maybe we'll start branching out this way. But we'll slowly start branching out and just claiming land for ourselves, slowly but surely. But it's going to take time because we have a low population and we're having a hard time keeping that population. So, and that's probably mainly because our hunting grounds are 100 meters away from everything, but. Like, for example, if I hit minus and go to this one, like, that's, like, ten buck two. Like, that's way out there. But that one's not as bad as some of the other ones, though, because you got... This one's pretty good. That one's further out there. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. And we got this one that's, like, way out there. So if we keep our hunting grounds to a neutral area, like right there, we're fine. And if we want another hunting ground, we could put it right here. Because they will pass through here, so it's actually a pretty good spot for it. Just a new settler. We have enough for 17. Because they are keeping up with this stuff. They just haven't got a chance to build it yet. That just needs the sticks. We'll set these to two high priorities. 
that way they build them as soon as possible let's check for our points here we need um build 20 more sludges oh we could build a oh build a bridge well i mean we could do that but we haven't done that yet pretty sure that'd be under transport um know where we build a bridge to though maybe from here to here but that's pretty far that's pretty far spread won't let's do that but I was thinking yeah that's a, that's too far of a spread they won't let me do that just be like this or that but they won't even let me do that that's weird But that will work that that's a pointless bridge <laughs> oh boy Not unless we need like a sky bridge that'd be kind of cool actually have a bridge that goes across the sky I don't even know if I could do that in this game hold on No, you cannot. Okay. I can't just randomly select the point and build a bridge. Why would you want a bridge out to there? That's just dumb. It makes no sense. Oh, we can bridge that. Okay. It's so from here. To here, that'll get you. Well, that's within the gate. I don't want to be within the gate, though. That that's the exception. See, I can't do it with outside being within the gate. And there's no point to bridge it within the gate because it's just stupid. I want to bridge it with outside the gate so that way it goes from one point to another. So I could do it from here to here. But that's outside the gate to inside the gate. And again, there's no reason to do inside the gate to inside the gate. Outside the outside is different because that gives you the gate to gate. But I don't want, and it's just for outside access as well. I don't have to worry about the outside getting in from the inside. Hmm. Not unless I build a structural integrity that will allow me to have a wooden platform there to block it from getting in. You know, put like a wooden platform along the shore. <laughs> no, that wouldn't work very well. Yeah, I don't understand the point of what these would do. So for that, it'd be kind of cool to get to that part of the island. I don't know, it's just weird. Less walking, I guess. Doing it that way, I guess. I don't know. We'll do it, though, because they're all for it. Okay. Give me two bridges that way, even though it's pointless. <laughs> Not very well made on the bridges there. I only have one more point to go. I guess I did have two. Okay. 
What ifs? Yeah, they can barely keep up with what they have. Do I have enough for the upgrade? Uh, two, four. I don't have the log or the sticks. Do I have a work order for sticks? They're picking up sticks now. The question was, did I have a work order for sticks? Uh, yes. They're just not doing it. Okay. And they haven't cut on the trees yet. They probably will once we start the upgrade. Okay, we'll upgrade this one. So the one's getting ready to fall apart anyway, so it'd be better to upgrade that one. Built this gate, they haven't built this one yet. Or the one over here. Diseases affecting crops. Two new sheep were born. No picks. No flint. What a shocking surprise. Raider attack. This is the person's like, forget, I'm just bringing the resources in. Well, they definitely fled. We're three raiders away from getting the next point for that. Two people in a domestic animal away. How many dogs do I have? Only three? Remember we were up like, like six or seven dogs at one point in time? That doesn't stay as successful anymore. Be forewarned, I don't have much of anything. I will take your flint though. Then what's the point of trading with you? If our values are not equal with each other, Hey, you're the worst trader ever. Get out of here. Except for I kind of need that straw. Let's just do that trade and get out of it. One more knowledge point. We'll be in the Copper Age. About stinking flipping time, dude. Cut down the trees now. It's 
So that's a high priority over there. A new human was born. That was a weird response from the game. A new human was born. Ah. Uh, that's all the game sound made was ah. Uh, it's like okay. Oh. It's funny sounds, dude. We have six gates. Is there anything about any more gates? Nope. It would nice. It would be nice to have a watchtower over here, as we noticed. It's actually good to have watchtowers in almost every section. Copper age. Copper age. Copper age. You're about to enter the metal age. It's highly recommended that you fortify your settlements and have enough people and weapons to defend from raiders. Oh. Sure, why not? Woolly rhinos have gone extinct. Mammoths has gone extinct. Oh, animals just went extinct. That is weird. Okay, we gotta get some things moving here. Okay. We'll put the workshop here. Uh, a place to smelt copper and tin or some copper. Truck from wood. That will go here. We'll have one of these here and another one on the other side here look right there and then we'll have one of these over here gotta get rid of that tree oh gosh okay Better get a move on on this then, because we just started a whole new era that's going to create a lot more struggle for us. Um, we're going to want to do some underground mining, just saying. Just so we can start getting this stuff, because we need some of the stuff out here wherever that stuff's at um yeah badly dude there's some over here we can't get that until we get iron smelting and stuff here's copper ore I need someone to go out here and mine that You pause the game, but yet the animals keep moving. That's weird. Okay. Whoa. So, yeah, there is going to be a lot more interesting stuff. The mammoth went extinct. That's what it's crazy. The mammoth went extinct and the woolly rhino went extinct. It's just interesting to me that, that that's part of the game. I mean, it makes sense. It's what happened in real life, but it's just, wow. Like they went to that much detail. To force that much game improvement. It's intriguing to me, to be honest.
Trying to figure out the best way to do some of this stuff. Okay. Ooh, copper ore, yes. How much does it cost? Four a piece? Okay. Straw, don't really need with, with the grain right now. Pigs are fine. There's the logs. Um, 15, huh? Um, we don't want dried skins. Don't really want to give you that much food either. It's all one a piece. Which is actually kind of noxious. That works. Gotta get rid of some of these other trees out over here. The sooner the better. Well, not necessarily the better. Not necessarily sooner the better, but it should definitely help us identify what's needed and what's not. I need a work order to pick up these sticks, though. They are getting all this stuff built though, that's nice. And pretty quickly. We just need one more piece of straw and we can get that house built up. We need a lot more straw actually, or we're gonna start having issues. And this is sure we're getting straw from though. It's not helping me. I'm trying to figure out what the best way to get how to get straw is. Cause it's not easy keeping it. Or getting it for that matter of fact. Animals need it, buildings need it. Two sheep were just born. And I can do with a seven, yes. Okay, and what did that just unlock for me? It allows you to build mines on top of deposits. Mines dramatically increase the amount of resources you can extract from a deposit. So I've basically created my own way of getting flint easier, is that what we're saying? Oh, nice. That makes that nice. And so will that be just automatic or what then? We're only in our stable though, eventually here. Stables. Um, I did not think this spot over here very well, just saying. <laughs> um.
Hmm. This is not a really good spot to put this at. Looks for maybe right here in the middle of town. Workshop has created great fishing rods and sledges in there. One focus on copper, one focus on bronze. This is the lowest we've had the workload since the beginning of the series. This is amazing. The trader has arrived. There's the trader. I was like, which one's the trader? Um. Guess really what I'm willing to give up here. So it's going to depict on what you're going to give me. Okay, I think that's fair. How many dogs do I have now? Still three. One goat, nine sheep, and two pigs. But no straw to feed my animals. Again, just to remind you, I don't know how I'm going to get the uh, rest of the straw. <laughs> so we got plenty of room for expansion here. But let's just work on maintaining what we got because we got to get straw first before I start really upgrading anything else. Or we're going to be having other issues other than our own. So I'm saying we need straw badly. So I'm going to look that up real quick how to get straw. And while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and pause for now. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode of this Ultimate Recon Gaming. Over and out.